Hey everyone, this is Dan at SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're gonna go over some of our 6.7 Power Stroke cooling system offerings. So what we have on the table here, we're breaking down in sections and putting in one video because it just makes more sense that way. It's too, too hard to separate and still give you some, a good solid video. So all the hoses that we do for the cooling system stuff are all five ply silicone hand wrapped over molds. So they're really nice quality hoses and they're all kind of manufactured made the same way. So I'm gonna start on my right here. We have our upper rad hose for the 6.7. It comes in a, like two different variations, but what I wanna kind of discuss with the upper rad hose is the reason we do ours the way that we do it. So the upper radiator hose obviously has two connections. You have your rad side and then you have your thermostat side. The quick connect on the thermostat side is the one that usually is problematic. So the quick connect being that it's on the engine, it sees a lot of radiant heat, it sees a lot of vibration, and then that quick connect will usually end up leaking. So what we did is we came up with a thermostat housing that is just a, a billet hose connection. So rather than it being a quick connect and having O-rings in it, we knowing and finding out that that was one of the problematic areas, we wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So our connection point for the thermostat housing is now just a hose connection with a clamp. So what that does is it simplifies that connection in general and gives it less leak points, makes it easier to put on and a lot easier to do. So this is uh, the thermostat that we sell as well. And it kind of sits in the truck in that manner to give you an idea. We'll get to that in a second. So being that the quick connect end is also on the rad side, we have a billet aluminum quick connect to go onto the radiator side of it. This side, obviously since the male version is on the radiator, we can't actually change that to a hose connection. So we retain the quick connect style, but we give you something that flexes less, is less susceptible to heat and new O-ring obviously. So you get that, you get the clamps, everything that you need to install it, very clean setup and it fixes a lot of the problems with that hose. So moving down the line here, we have the lower rad hose. So the lower rad hose on these trucks are a lot less problematic. Uh, same construction as the upper rad hose. We did this because a lot of the customers, obviously for changing the upper rad hose, which is a problem, then you're gonna wanna do the bottom one as well so they match. So what we did is we did a little spin off on it to cause, uh, cause one of the issues that causes a problem with these lower rad hoses, which is the only one in my opinion, is the fact that the rad hose is actually lower than the radiator. So. Being that it's lower, it holds a lot of volume. So you'll have a gallon, two gallons of coolant in the bottom of the motor and in that radiator hose after you drain the rad. So if you're working on the truck and you're, you need to pull the cab or work, something, work on something in the cooling system, you have a lot of retained coolant in that lower hose. So what we did is we made it two pieces, very similar to the factory one. They have a connection in the middle, but we made the connection removable and we added a drain. So in the bottom of this adapter, we have a 6 or a dash six or a B plug, the threads in there. And what this acts as is a secondary drain plug. So when you put the radiator hose on and you get everything set up, this will be pointed down at the ground on the truck. So after you drain the rad, you can just go under there, throw an Allen in this, take it out, actually catch the fluid that's in the rad hose rather than popping it off and taking a bath. So the only downfall is obviously to put the hose on, you have to take your factory one off, which is gonna have coolant in it, but it'll make you appreciate this. So very simple, simple thing, but it, it's a nice, nice feature for that. Obviously that hose is built the same way. You get all your clamps in the kit, everything you need to inst install it. So, all right, moving down the line here, we're gonna talk about our thermostat. So. These thermostats are a lot different than your regular car thermostat or regular automotive thermostat. They are a dual motor setup. So the factory thermostats in that 210, 200, 210 range, and we drop these down to the 175, 180 range, uh, obviously to lower temperature and increase flow. So 
it's a it's a simple item but it solves a lot of issues with the truck so one of the things with the the thermostat is not only are you lowering your cooling temperature your coolant temperature you're going to lower oil temps and in some trucks even the actual transmission temperature so the transmission temperatures in the newer trucks are controlled by the primary cooling system so you're lowering your cooling system you're lowering your oil temperatures and you're lowering transmission temperatures so you're kind of killing a lot of birds with one stone in that in that aspect all right moving over here to my left we have the oil cooler so as i was saying about the temperatures uh, with the thermostat we can also drop more oil temperature with our oil cooler which is more capacity it flows more volume pretty standard what it does it bolts in the factory place so as far as the mounting locations and o-rings and everything which are included all all factory style mounting and then we offer the same style hoses uh, we're going to release these really soon uh, same style replacement hoses for the oil cooler system so so one thing i want to touch on with the the hoses and the location of these hoses is they this hose actually runs along the frame rail or the oil pan rail. So being that it's at the base of the engine, close to the road, it sees a lot of salt, a lot of road grime. So one of the things we did see with these, these hoses is that over time they will heat check, crack, dry rot, you know. So one nice thing about the silicone is it's really not affected by the environment whatsoever. So, you know, oil, coolant, environmental stuff, it's pretty, pretty uh, not susceptible to. So that's pretty much covers everything we have on the table here. We do have more cooling system products coming out and we kind of wanted to just cover on these real quick as, a, as an all-in-one type thing. So if you have any questions on these items, whether it's individual things, a kit, whatever you may need, uh, hit us up on social media, uh, shoot us an email, give us a call. We'd be happy to help you. Catch you on the next one. Before I even get in, fucker. Imagine how bad that F-35 would have been. Like, prop planes, Learjets, Spirit, I hope. Yeah, because we're like right at the end You're of the runway. The we're in the runway, yeah. yeah. Just hold your hands, don't move your hands and we have a perfect cut. Is that another one? <laughs> and the Cessna's fucking take forever. <laughs>